Hey everybody. Today we're going to do some work with discrete random variables. So remember that a random variable is a variable whose value is going to be defined by some sort of random process. A discrete random variable is one whose outcomes can be listed. So when you have a discrete random variable, you also get a discrete probability distribution. A list of all the possible outcomes for that variable together with the probabilities for those outcomes. Quick example. Suppose we have a house with 16 rooms. We're going to pick a room at random and count the number of windows in that room. So there are rooms with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 windows. And the probabilities that when we select a room at random of getting that many windows are 3 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, and so on. This is a discrete probability distribution. Two important properties of discrete random variables and discrete probability distributions. First of all, all the probabilities have to sum up to 1. Basically, something has to happen. So if you look at this example above and you add up all of those probabilities, you get 16 sixteenths or 1. More generally, probabilities add when we talk about discrete probability distributions. So if you want to know the probability that x is 3 or 4, you can do the probability that x is 3, the probability that x is 4, and add them together. In this case, you get 3 sixteenths. Let's do an example problem or two. So here's another discrete probability distribution. We have this random variable y. It's got five possible outcomes, 5, 10, 25, 50, and 200. And we're given probabilities for four of those five outcomes. We can find the fifth, using the fact that all of the probabilities have to add up to one. In other words, 0.04 plus 0.12 plus 0.18 plus 0.45 plus this unknown value have to add up to one, the equal one. So we subtract all the known values to the other side and carry out the subtraction. And we get that that question mark, the probability that y is 200, has to be 0.21. Let's do a couple calculations using the same discrete probability distribution. To start, let's find the probability that y is less than or equal to 10. So if y is less than or equal to 10, that means y is either 5 or 10. So the probability that y is less than or equal to 10 is going to be the probability that y is 5 plus the probability that y is 10, so 0.04 plus 0.12 or 0.16. Secondly, probability that y is odd. So there's exactly two outcomes in the event that y is odd, y equals 5 and y equals 25. Again, we get those two probabilities, add them up, and we get 0.22. Finally, let's do the probability that y is greater than 5. We could do this the same way. We could add up the probability that y is 10, 25, 50, and 200, but there's a shortcut here, namely, Instead of looking at the probability that y is greater than 5, let's look at the probability that y is not greater than 5. Those two things have to add up to 1. To say that differently, I can do the probability that y is greater than 5 equals 1 minus the probability that y is less than or equal to 5. y less than or equal to 5, y greater than 5, those are complementary events. Their probabilities have to add up to 1. The probability that y is less than or equal to 5 is 0.04, so overall I'm getting 1 minus 0.04, otherwise known as 0.96.